All right, guys, so obviously I'm not here today, so I'm walking you through the project you're going to start today. It's a mini project, and we've been working up to this at this point. So far, you've um, <clears throat> added shapes, you've done sprites, and you've done text. And now you're going to create a simple scene, and here's your instructions, okay? You can think of it as like a page in a story, a panel in a comic strip, but a standalone scene. And I'll show you maybe some examples in a second, okay? Okay. Keep in mind of the problem-solving process why we do this. Define, prepare, try, and reflect, okay? So the first thing you're going to do is write out a short description of your scene and include two shapes, two sprites, and two text. So you need to tell me the shapes and the sprites and the lines of text that you were going to have. It's just looking like you're going to have about four or five sentences there, you know, probably like two to four sentences there that explain your scene and indicate the shapes, sprites, and text you're gonna use. So if you are missing any of those things, right, you can add more, but you can't have less than that, okay? Then you're not gonna do well. Then you'll come down here and you will do the prepare part, okay? So let me get this up real quick, okay? You gotta figure out, the first thing you're gonna do is figure out what your background will look like, okay? So do you need it to be blue for the sky? Is it gonna be brown for the desert? You know, whatever the case may be, you're gonna create that, okay? Um, and then you're going to use these drawing commands, right? You've got the shapes, you've got the color and style, the things here, and you are going to literally sketch out, okay? Sketch out your scene, okay? Does that make sense? So you, if you say, I'm going to have two people walking down a street, you need to have the sky here, the clouds you're going to have, two people walking down the street, the street. It doesn't have to be beautiful or anything, but it needs to be in color and a rough draft of, so when you're ready to put it in, game lab or the drawing lab, then you'll be able to come back to your rough draft and go for it. Okay. So that should be in color and sketched out your scene. You're going to have, again, two shapes, two sprites, and two texts. I should be able to see that from this drawing. Okay. Then you'll come over here and you'll tell me what's the sprite label going to be, description, anything you need to scale, rotate, color, whatever the case is, be. you're going to describe out your two sprites. You're also going to tell me your two texts, where they're going to be, the size of them, all that stuff, okay? If you get to this point, if you get done with this stuff today, you don't need to ask the teacher because the sub is here, but if you get to this point today, you can go ahead and go on to code to code.org in today's lesson and start designing your rough draft, okay? We'll have a couple days to do this, Thursday and Friday at least, maybe Monday to do it, but this top part, guys, this define, prepare, and these two boxes, are all a part of your grade. So they need to be well thought out in, before you get to try. Because if I come back in on Friday and the top part doesn't look well done, you're done coding and you're going to have to go back to the paper to figure it out. Okay. So give me one second. Let me show you an exemplar. Okay. So you can see they've got the scene is set. They've got the text and everything, blue background. They're going to use ellipse blocks. This is not really what I'm looking for. This was done on the computer, so that's why it looks so sloppy. I was just trying to sketch it out, but obviously you'd want to fill it in a little bit better than this, but you can see it's got the two aliens. What kind of music do planets sing um, or like? Neptunes, right? So they got it all sketched out. You can see the colors they're going to use. I would want yours to look a little better, but again, like I said, I did that on the computers, but you get the idea, right? And then you can see Alien 1 is the sprite label. It's going to be a blue alien, and I'm going to use rotation and scale. Alien 2, a green alien, rotation and scale. Here's the text. That's what it's going to look like. Okay, Neptunes, that's what it's going to look like. Okay, so you are literally sketching out your lines of code before you go back. Okay, one last thing that I'm going to show you is the rubric. Okay, and I'll give you all of this on paper. All right, you have it all in your packet. You can see that if you want to get this extensive evidence, which is like getting fours, this is like how you get hundreds. This is the column that you have to make sure you have, okay? Just keep that in mind. So take a, take a stab at that, all right? It also shows you some of the things that will help you program well, that you now want to make sure you've included, okay? So if you get stuck on things, guys, if you get stuck, you are going to go back to previous levels and take a look at those helps and tips to figure out what you missed. Otherwise, I've put all the instructions below in Canvas on this assignment as well, and you've got a couple days to do it, so there's no need to rush. But by the end of today, I would expect that you have at least your rough draft paper stuff done. And then on Friday when I'm back, we'll start coding. All right, good luck.